In this video, we'll talk again about resistors and resistance measurement, but we'll be generalizing our previous concepts somewhat. We'll measure the resistance of combinations of resistors. We'll also talk a bit more about voltage current characteristics of circuits and introduce a really slick way to plot the voltage current characteristic by using time varying voltages and currents. We will be using the analog discovery waveform generator and oscilloscope instruments in this tutorial. Resistors are characterized by their resistance, which is simply a relationship between the voltage and current at their terminals. As we pointed out in the chapter one lab videos, we can plot voltage current characteristics by applying power to the circuit, measuring the voltage and current, and plotting one versus the other. The slope of the resulting line gives the resistance. This concept of resistance measurement from chapter one is true for networks of resistors as well. For a circuit like this, the equivalent resistance is simply the relationship between voltage and current at the terminals of the network. Therefore, simply connecting an ohmmeter to the terminals of this network will give us a measurement of the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Likewise, if we apply power to the terminals of the circuit, the voltage and current at the terminals will provide us with the voltage current characteristic of the overall circuit, which can be used to find the equivalent resistance. Since voltage current characteristics, or IV curves, are so important, it would be nice to plot them fairly easily. It turns out that, since we're so clever, there is a way to more or less automate plotting these characteristics. To do this, though, we need to apply a time varying power to our circuit. Say that we apply a triangular voltage wave to a resistor like the one shown here. The resulting current will also be a triangular waveform. Each point on the current curve will simply be the corresponding point on the voltage curve divided by the resistance. If we measure a bunch of voltage and current points and then plot the voltage points against the current points, we'll have our voltage current characteristic curve. Our function generator can apply time varying power and our oscilloscope can measure time varying voltages. But what about the time varying current? Well, if we have a resistor with a known resistance, we can calculate a current through the resistor from a measurement of the resistance, resistor's voltage and the resistance value. Luckily, our oscilloscope provides the ability to perform calculations based on these measured voltages. As an example, consider this circuit. We put a 100 ohm resistor in series with the resistance we want to characterize. Since the two are in series, the current through the two is the same. If the voltage across the known resistor is V1, we can calculate the current through the res both resistors as V1 over 100. We can then plot the measured voltage V2 against this calculated current. Here are the two resistors we've placed in series. This is our known 100 ohm resistor. This is the resistor that we want to characterize. We've used the arbitrary waveform generator, this yellow wire and the black wire, to apply voltage across the series combination. Channel one of the oscilloscope is measuring the voltage across the 100 ohm resistor, while channel two of the oscilloscope is measuring the voltage across the unknown resistor. We'll use the wave gen instrument to apply our triangle waveform to the series connection of resistors. I'm using a two hertz frequency and a three volt amplitude. Click on run AWG to apply power to the circuit. Now we'll open the scope instrument, click on run to start acquiring data. The yellow line, channel one, is our voltage across the 100 ohm resistor. The blue line, channel two, is our voltage across the unknown resistor. Notice that they have the same shape. In order to calculate the current through the 100 ohm resistor, we'll add a math channel it will require a custom channel. Now we can provide the equation that we'll be using. Channel one is the voltage across the 100 ohm resistor. That voltage divided by 100 is the current through the 100 ohm resistor. We need to adjust our scale so that we can see what's happening. Now that we have the current through the 100 ohm resistor, which is also the current through the unknown resistor, we can do an XY plot, which will plot this voltage versus this current. Click on add XY. The X axis is our math channel. The Y axis is channel two. 
we can adjust our units on the math channel by clicking on this icon, the unit should actually be amperes. We can adjust the scale on this simply by adjusting the scale on the channel itself. That is our voltage current characteristic for the unknown resistor.